what's up youtube so this video is basically uh if you see the title is what to do after a breakup so um sorry i love halos um what you need to do is i know sometimes breakups can be difficult we've all had them i don't think there's a person on this earth who can never say I have never broken up with anyone. You're a lie. Um, unless you've only been with one person your whole entire life. Um, you live a limited life. Um, then that's the only way you could say that. I, mean, I know there's a few people, like back in the day, they, they would get with one person and be with them forever. But I can't believe it. You, only, you only had given one man a chance and never tried anyone else. Never tried to see if there was someone else who would maybe liked you or whatever. But... Okay, I digress. Uh, breakups, like I said, breakups can be hard. And um, in that period of time, after the breakup, um, there's things you can do or things you should be doing for yourself, okay? Because um, what a lot of, what happens is many times is that the other person that you're in a relationship with... Um, they will have already monkey branched on to someone else. I know you've heard this term, monkey branching. If you think about how monkeys go from branch to branch. And that person is caught monkey branching. Because when they break up with you and don't let the dang on freaking paint dry or the bed get cold. And they've already jumped in with somebody else, they're monkey branching. Well, the thing you have to understand is monkey branching carries on its own issues okay so when they carry when they monkey branch from person to person from you to that person and there's issues you guys broke up and when they went on to someone else and they may you may have been with them for x amount of years the person before you was with them for x amount of years or whatever days months however and they're going to put that much time into the next person and sometimes people have kids and all of the stuff but i'm gonna tell you that that baggage if they have it goes with them that baggage will carry itself with them because they've never put down all those bags you remember erica badu's song bag lady and she was like bag lady you go miss your bus you can't hurry up because you got too much stuff and that's what she's basically saying you 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 got too many bags put some of them bags down you gotta put them down um it's just like if you go on a trip how can you go on a trip when you have not unpacked your luggage from the last journey message okay you listen if you have not unpacked your luggage from your last journey you cannot go on the next one until you do. Otherwise, you're going to be taking that same bag with them dirty clothes in it. You're going to put dirty, clean clothes on top of the dirty ones. And usually that's what people are going to do. And that's what happens with the baggage. They usually will put the clean stuff on top of the dirty. And then the clean stuff becomes dirty too. And it'll just keep packing, stacking, stacking. You have to be able to take time out to um, reflect. Time to decompress time to you know just think about what happened in your relationship because it's a two-way street my mom always said it takes two to tango okay it's not one person it takes two so it's not just his fault it's not just her fault it's the two of you had a situation to where neither one of you could stay together with each other so don't just go off blaming, oh, it's his fault, it's her fault. You both did it. It takes two to tango, okay? Relationships don't break up from one person. It usually takes two to break them up, okay? So, let me get that clear. Um, one thing you should not do is that when you break, when after things are over, please don't go off monkey branching with someone else yourself. How you see them with someone and now you got to go out and find you someone to monkey branch to. Don't do that. Don't go off swinging like them. Trust me. It is better for you. Because believe me, I know what you're going through. You're thinking that, oh, you don't know. 
Believe me, I've been there. I have had one, two males had take me out of character. I'd never been out of character before. And they had me out of character. And the one guy had me out of character. Because one thing I don't like, I told y'all before, don't play with my emotions. So if you play with my emotions, I'm going to be out of character with you. Um, and the other one, um, we, we broke up, broke up. Well, I broke up with him. I mean, I guess once he started seeing someone else, I guess I was like, oh, no. But he would already monkey, monkey branch to her already. And he was already monkey branching over her way regardless before we even officially broke up. He had already monkey branched her way. He was already doing that. It wasn't even a month later. It, so, you know, he was he was already monkey branching somewhere. Um, some people are are capable of being by themselves. And so we moved on to someone else. And, you know, I did the typical stupid, you know, I don't know. We bring ourselves down and and lower our self-worth when we are around here trying to get with someone who don't want to be with you anymore. And even though I broke up with him, in the end of all things, I, I empowered him by trying to get him back. Can you believe that? That's what I did. I empowered him. And he was like, oh, now she want me back, huh? Look at this. I'm feeling him. He was feeling empowered. But when I broke up with him, he was all looking crazy. And then he got with her. And and I was trying to get back with him. He was like, oh, look at they want me, both of them. But, you know, I let her go ahead and have him. And uh, she can keep him. And y'all can work things out, you know. I don't care. I, I'm all right. And I'm going to tell you to do the same thing. You know, I was making phone calls and popping up at houses and his apartment. He didn't have a house. Well, they still ain't got, they ain't got no permanent you know, home. Um, how they might be living in an apartment, but they don't own a home. Um, uh, look here, bypass that, please. Because I'm not trying to hate on nobody. I'm hoping one day they get married and have a kid. I mean, we already had a kid. Well, they get married and, you know, buy them home. Buy themselves a home. So, good luck to them. But, anyway. Um, back to what I was saying. I did all that stuff. You know, and was angry and crying and looking crazy. And, like, Lord, why did you take them from me? I was like, oh, Lord. I mean, Lord, you did what you did for a purpose, for a reason. And, and, and I swear, every time I think that I'm dying... Well, not necessarily dying, but my heart is breaking so, and I don't know if I can make it, uh, or I just want to make it, but the pain would be unbearable to me sometime. Um, Lord, why am I feeling this pain? He was like, girl, it's best that you feel this pain now than the pain that they're going to put you through later. I'm going to let you feel this pain. It's better for you, okay? You keep that in mind. Take time out. So we know what I did once I got slapped around by God a little bit. <laughs> I took time to heal myself. Yes, I did. And that's what you should do. Take time to heal yourself so that you don't carry all that ish from all those relationships and even the last one on to the next person. Because trust me, that baggage is going to go with you. Drop them bags at the door. And that way you can start anew with a new person filling your bag of whatever he given you full of whatever he's given you. Hopefully it's a bag full of love. You know, like Prince say, a cup of pink uh, of uh, pink cashmere. You, you want him to fill your cup up with pink cashmere. Or your bag with pink cashmere full of love. Uh, excuse me, I have allergies. You want him to fill that up. And so, but you also have to heal yourself. And you have to know, okay, like I say, evaluate what happened in your last relationship. And evaluate who you are and what your part was in that. And then you heal yourself. Don't worry about trying to apologize to them. I tell them you're sorry for whatever you did. Forget all that. Because that's only for you. That's not, I mean, that's for them. That's not for you. And who cares about them? They don't need to hear no sorries 
or anything like that from you, from anything you've done. You know, it's over. Let it be over. And then now, just take this time out to be a better you. Because the better you are, the better you feel. And that attracts better people to you. So, I just want to say that. And eventually, you know, that ex, whoever they are, they're going to look back and they're going to see you. And they're going to be like, oh, look at her. She's changed. Or, oh, look at him. He's different. Because you know why? You took time to heal. You didn't monkey branch from human being to human being like they did. And 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 out here hanging on for dear life trying to hold on to somebody. You held on to yourself. And that's all you need to do. Hold on to yourself and God. You know, that's all. Get, take time to hear your mind. You know, take time just to breathe. Take time just to enjoy yourself. Just enjoy your life. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your freedom. Your Enjoy your own space, you know, just for a minute. Because if you cannot be comfortable and happy with just your own self, how can you expect someone else to be comfortable and happy with you? You can't even do it with yourself. You have to be able to find this common ground with that person about you. You know what I'm saying? You have to be able to love you more than anyone else can love you. Otherwise, how do you expect them to love you? You don't love you at all. You don't love yourself. So you got to learn how to love yourself and be comfortable with yourself. Um, <clears throat> you know, being able to just, I know people get lonely. You say, oh, I wish I had someone in my bed with me. and I'm used to him hugging, neck, snuggling up next to me and me feeling him and touching. And I, I've been there. Trust me, I know that how that feels when there's no one coming over, when there's no one sharing that spot. Um, and it's difficult. It can be hard. Very, very hard. However, <clears throat> you have to learn to be comfortable with yourself because you came in this world by yourself and you're going to leave this world by yourself so you got to be comfortable with you and this is how you can also <clears throat> when you're comfortable with you and you're okay um i've met men who <clears throat> don't really like women who like text them and call them and you know, because they're busy. They're men who have things to do. They are. They have second uh, careers. They have a job. And then they have their own businesses or whatever. And what they don't have time for is a woman to be calling them and texting them all day. Where you are? Where are you? When you come in? Blah, blah, blah. Let that man work. Okay? You get, you don't have to learn to be by yourself. What they say coddling yourself. You have to learn to self-coddle, baby. And you don't you don't have to be in someone's presence 24-7. You have to learn to be okay with you. Okay? So, that's some of the things I have to tell you. And it's going to be hard. So take time out for you. Just take some time out. Six months to a year. I know you're thinking it's a long time. It's not a long time. Trust me. Because within that period, it's going to go by so fast. But you're going to be thankful that you took that time out to, for you, okay? And then when you meet the next person, it'll, it'll be so nice because they'll get to see the, the person that they should see instead of that broken person that that other person left behind. They won't see that, that, that scarred person, that angry person, that person who has issues. They won't see you carrying that bag around with their name on it. They'll just see you and you will have yourself ready to have a bag with their name on it and hopefully their bag is full of love and pink cashmere and you will carry that bag for the rest of your days after you guys get married and you, you live and you die together okay so um just live love and laugh okay it, it's not the end of the world you'll meet someone else things of people in this world. You haven't even touched the cusp of 25% of them. So trust me. 
someone else will be there. Just be patient. And let God guide you, okay? Don't be trying to rush it. Don't be trying to monkey branch. Don't be trying to jump in any old thing, you know? You need to have your little buddy to come through. Well, you know, that could be a male or female. Do that. But do not enter into a relationship with someone until you are mentally and emotionally ready, okay? The physical part, that's the side point. All right? Now, that's all I have to tell y'all. Please comment, subscribe. I always answer back. Live, love, laugh. All right, mama, mama said out.